How to Censor a YouTube Video, a presentation by Sam the Censorship Guy. First of all, you need an iMac. It cannot just be any computer, it has to be an iMac. Second, you need two special kinds of software, GetTube and Final Cut Pro. GetTube can be downloaded from download.com. Do not worry, as this website is completely spyware free, and the software from this site is safe for your computer. However, Final Cut Pro needs to be purchased from the App Store. Once you have these pieces of software, your next step is to decide which video you are going to download and censor. In this case, the Nostalgia Critics review of the film The Room. Once you have decided which YouTube video you are going to censor, open GetTube and wait for the donation box to load. When it is finished loading, click Later to deny the request to donate. Then type the name of your video into the search bar. Once you see the video, click on it, and then click the download button in the bottom right hand corner of the window. You will then see a table showing how far the video is downloaded. When it has finished downloading, you are ready to censor the video. To censor the video, open Final Cut Pro. Final Cut Pro is intended for movie editing purposes, but is great for censorship as well. Please note that this program takes a while to load, so you need to be patient. Once it is finished loading, you'll see a tab named File at the top of the screen. Click this tab, and you'll see a pop-out menu, with one of the options being Import. Click on this option, and you'll see another pop-out menu with one of the options being Files. Click on this option, go to the Downloads folder, and import the YouTube video that you downloaded earlier. The video will then appear in the large space next to the preview screen. Drag it to the timeline, and now the censorship begins. Watch the video from start to finish, and pause it whenever you see something that needs to be censored. There are four main censorship methods, and they will all be explained now. The first method is the bleep method. This is used when a swear word or other inappropriate term is used in the video. First. Change the cursor to a blade tool by pressing B on the keyboard. This way, you can snip parts of the video by clicking on them. Once in blade mode, click on the video directly before and directly after the part of the video with the swear word. Then, go to the effects menu to the right of the timeline and drag the test oscillator effect to the swear word. This will erase the audio of the clip and replace it with a pure sine wave with a pitch of B5 as heard on TV. The second method is the blur method. Whenever you see anything inappropriate in the video, whether it is written profanity, the mouth of the person swearing, or something else considered inappropriate, you can blur it out using the censor effect in the effects menu. Snip around the inappropriate clip using the blade tool, then drag the censor effect to the clip. You will then see a giant blur circle in the center of the screen. To adjust the blur circle to fit whatever it is that needs to be censored, right click the video, click on the pop-up option Transform, click the Done button to the top right of the preview screen, and drag the blur circle to a smaller size. The blur circle can also be dragged to wherever it is needed. The third method is the scatter method. This is used when censoring an image that is too large or too clear for a blur circle. This method involves three visual effects called Glass Block, Kaleidoscope, and Collider Tile. When using the Scatter method, Glass Block is the first option. Glass Block displays the video from an insect's eye view, showing dozens of the same image in small pieces and from slightly different angles. This is the first option when using the Scatter method, however it is quite dodgy and usually makes it worse. If this happens, try using Kaleidoscope. This effect cuts the video into pizza slices and makes them all look the same, as if looking into a kaleidoscope. This is quite an effective scatter method technique and is usually quite successful, although it is sometimes not enough to cover up a scene, in which case you then need to use collider tile. This effect takes a small rectangular part of the screen and makes the rest of the screen look exactly like it, in the same way kaleidoscope does with pizza slices. Since the rectangles are so small, Collider Tile is extremely effective and is always successful. However, it is used only as a last resort. The fourth method is the cutout method. 
Despite its name, the cutout method is completely unrelated to the cutout animation used in South Park and several kids shows. This method is usually used to censor an entire scene or a small bit of dialogue that is inappropriate but not so much that it should be bleeped. Basically, just bleep directly before and directly after the clip that needs to be censored and delete it. This is not only the simplest censorship method, but also the most discreet. However, the other censorship methods should be used a lot more often. And that is how you censor a YouTube video. I hope you enjoyed my presentation, and I'm glad you know the art of censorship. If you'd like to see some of the videos that I have censored, just visit my YouTube channel at www.youtube.com forward slash user forward slash tgwtgcensored. That's all, folks.